Dr. Joseph Martin here. Welcome. Pleased to see you again here. Human soul evolution through spiritual rebirth. This is the fourth of four in the series, which is based on my life story, and it's in my autobiography, Living in Two Worlds, A Life of Love. And this final segment so far is the introduction to this whole process that you will be engaging on for yourself in the I Am Self Worth program is based on how can you overcome all these issues that we all have in our lives. In my own childhood, I had incredible uh, abuse of all kinds uh, by the hands of certain family and friends and so on. I was born into a very, very poor health. I had manifold heart problems uh, that uh, some could be corrected by surgery and others took a long time until a couple of years ago to be corrected and multitudinous, all kinds of health issues. Born into a family of poverty, born into a family that was going through serious post-traumatic stress disorder, having had both parents um, in the World War II. And a lot of hidden family secrets, a lot of hidden family issues, and uh, disempowerment, and so on. So what I'm suggesting to you is that you can, like myself, move through all this. You can transmute all your thoughts and feelings and goals and hopes and intentions into something that the most positive ever. And you, if anyone can do it, if I can do it, anyone can do it, and I know that you can do it yourself. And this is the most important thing to know. I honestly want to share again with you that through the help of the spiritual masters, uh, they were able to help me with all these fears and angers and sadnesses and griefs and doubts and insecurities and just about on a daily basis always something going on. Some um, disconcerting series of events or bullying or all these things that so many of, not most of us these days, experience. Now, you can make yourself stronger when you know how to process all of this. As uh, one of the people who has been involved in the ongoing evolution of transpersonal psychology uh, for over 40 years now, I'd like to advance this to an even higher state of a more evolutionary psychology, which we could call I am psychology, or we could call it spiritual masters psychology, or we could call it spiritual mastery psychology. In any case, the goal and the path are the same. It's to create complete, full, conscious liberation and attainment of your own self-mastery, both spiritually, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, physiologically, and in terms of your willpower. All your relationships will improve in such a great manner. I'm looking forward to the fact that this will be the case for yourself as well as it has been for me. When you delayer and get down through the archaeology of the false personality and the masks and the ego and the unconscious and the shadow side and do a lot of transformational transduction work to bring the two sides together to a higher place of consciousness in the heart, when you can move from the head to the heart, and when you can move out of this one tiny little moment to get to the whole picture of many lives that you've had, what are your core issues? What are those key themes, archetypal themes, in fact, that keep coming back again and again and again, whether it's the theme of the wounded one, the orphan, the sick one, the one who was uh, thrown out, the rebel, the one who was never accepted, these are just some of the archetypal realities that have been playing themselves out through many lifetimes, perhaps, for you. In this case, it's most important to find the steps and take the steps to move forward. As you heard in the previous three parts of this uh, series on this, you understand the absolute importance of getting in touch with your own spiritual source in your own heart when you connect with the spiritual masters of all the ancient traditions. You know, it's a truth to be known that the time of the gurus is well over. 
probably since the very middle of the 20th century, say around 1950, when uh, some of the last great uh, true spiritual gurus, psychological gurus, uh, left the planet, at least in terms of the physical body. And here I'm suggesting Paramahansa Yogananda. There's no reason to follow any guru. Uh, people who set themselves up as uh, supreme teachers or know-it-alls probably have much of, more of an inferiority than the rest. And bless them and bless their souls. And may they all find their true liberation as well. The truth is you are your own guru. G-U-R-U. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, you are you, and just be yourself. Be the great love you are. But you do need to take into hand all your own issues, be respectful of your issues, but be very discriminating and clear about those issues that you have to work on. The real juicy ones, you might want to start with the smaller ones, as we will in the I Am Self Work program, and little by little, time by time, as you develop more courage and strength and fortitude and know-how and skills and education, this. It's all education, isn't it? And uh, enjoy the process and the liberation that comes with it, the power and the, the love and the, the fun and the play and the creativity and the presence that comes with it. You will find that you will be more animated, more truly alive, and really be in the present moment focused on just living a fantastic life. So I'd say to all of you, just bring it. You know, take the leap. Just do it. You know, the, Waiting will only uh, cause more suffering and pain for you. You probably had enough of that. Kind of boring. So just be the spiritual, psychological Olympians in your own life. Go for gold. You know, test your mettle, so to speak, as we say. Keep achieving higher and higher rungs of your spiritual mastery and self-mastery. Listen to your soul more. Go deeper. Go longer. Go higher with your own meditations. And really focus on making that true for yourself, listening to the source of all that is in your heart with your deepest, highest meditation. For many of you that may require looking into your third eye and just letting whatever is there come into you as a great, great light. There are many steps and all can be learned and all can be utilized in the best possible ways for each and every one of us in our own unique special way. So all my love and blessings to you this is perhaps the one life where you will evolve to the point where you can transduce and transform all of your hidden and overt karmas that you know of and let them rise to the surface. Treat them like a true spiritual peacemaker warrior. The only one to be ruthless with and be discerning with is really yourself. And beyond that, there's no judgment with yourself. Just enjoy the path. And of course, no judgment on anyone else they're doing the best they can for what they know themselves at this time. Well, all love and blessings to you in the way, on the path. Do listen to the spiritual masters. Some are waiting there for you in your inner world, ready to speak with you, give you guidance, give you love, protection, and sacred support. And you can open up and choose anyone, or as many as you choose, to open to at this time. Make sure you are aware that these are the true spiritual masters and they will always represent themselves as such in a way that is knowing and knowable in your own heart. All my love and blessings, Dr. Joseph Martin, Om Namah Shivaya. Take good care of yourselves. Until we meet again next time, all my love and blessings.